You alright everyone, Ace here from Romany Custom, so I just thought I'd come on quick just to have a little chat about these band sets I've made. Um, would I call them vintage bands? Possibly so, As vin well, they're not as vintage as flat bands go, I suppose Theraband Gold's more vintage, but these are bands you can't get anymore, Theraband Gold and all the other colours of Theraband you can <clears throat> discontinued bands, vintage, whatever you want to call them. They're vintage to me, that's the word I'm going to go with. They are precise 0.65 Gen 1. Uh, back in the day, it was called the natural precise, as it's natural in colour. Uh, I've got these cut at the taper that I used to use, 2317. I used to shoot an active length of, I think, 150 millimetres, so around about 6 inch, 15 centimetres. Uh, these are a little bit longer. They're going to be around about 160 after clips, 165, something like that, and then 155 with wrap and tuck. I'm not wrap and tucking these. I'm using them on a clip frame. I'm going to use them on a Titan Hunter from uh, Catapult Carnage <clears throat> or a Companion from Catapult Carnage. I was thinking about hunting, but the hunting season is over, I believe. I'm not sure whether I can take pigeons at this time of year. There's pigeons in the yard. I could take if I wanted to. I don't suppose nobody would know. Uh, so I might do that. I've got these for 9 mil, 9.5 mil steel. The pouch isn't identical to what I used to shoot. I used to shoot my own kangaroo leather pouch that I cut with my own dies. I used to sell them back in the day. These are a HTH pouch, my go-to pouches. Uh, it's this new green material. That he sent me with like a muckled kind of feel on the outside. Really nice feeling pouch. I reckon they'll uh, perform fantastic. Nice colour with the dark red wraps and whatnot. Yes, it's a classy colour band. Not that that makes a blind bit of difference. <clears throat> but yeah, they look nice. We all like things that look nice, I suppose. So yeah, I'm going to do, I'll do some target shooting with them. What would be interesting is to do some target shooting with these alongside my RCC frame with my 0.45 band on it gzk but oh, no, it's not gzk anymore it's precise gen 3 precise i've got on it 0.45 uh, or 0.4 i can't remember what it is i think it's 0.45 so yeah it'd be nice to see how accurate i am in comparison with 9.5s to 7 mil now back in the day this was considered as a light band uh really light band people sent it to me you shoot a light band day so people used to use doubles and whatnot but this feels so so heavy I mean, like, compared to what I'm shooting, <clears throat> it just feels just really, really heavy. So I'm, I'm interested to see how I get on with it, to be honest. How long has it been since I've shot this type of band? 2017? Early 2018? I'd say more 2017, to be fair. Wasn't the last band I shot before changing to 7s and light bands? I shot a GZK 0.66 and a 0.62 I went down to. <clears throat> But this band was known for lasting well. As I remember, I used to get around 300, 350 shots to 400 shots out of this band and this cut. Uh, I'll probably get a bit more out of these because they're a little bit longer. But the little bit extra length yeah, will help them last a bit longer. And they will help me with the, the draw. Because like I say, it's not, a, it's, not, it's not a heavy draw, but it's heavy in comparison. Like, and it feels heavy to me. But yeah. What would we call them? Are they vintage bands? They're definitely discontinued bands. You can't get them anymore. Uh, vintage might be a little bit of a stretch. But yeah, they're a classic flat band, let's say. But sometimes the classics are the best. Over and out.